It's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're just going to go over just range, central range of motion of the shoulder. The key is, is how do we hold it? How are we going to do our, our body? As I want to do is I want to look through it. I'm going to grab my hand here on the shoulder. And as I get through shoulder flexion, I kind of want to feel for as, as he goes towards the end range. I'm going to get the end range as a little bit of overpressure and come back off. It's a good way to do flexion. For a straight abduction without external rotation, to see what we really have, I like to hold the grip this way, and we'll do, give you two options. What I could do is hold under the scapula to see what true abduction is and to see where he gets to, what should be in this position to get to about, should get to 90. If we have him out in this position, I could either go out here and I could see where he gets his abduction, where it starts to move into in that scaption position, and we can do full range, which adds those components to it. If I want to get external rotation, I have choices. I can get external rotation with the arm at the side. This is going to be more like a, a subscap. So I can see that position, go in and let it come out, and see what this external rotation feels like. If I want to get towards more towards end range and see what more of the capsule, what I'll do is I'll grab onto the acromion and I'll kind of stabilize it. In that position, what I'll do is I'll externally rotate. I just don't want the whole scapula to come forward. So I'll hold that back and see what that full range is like, and as I get to the end, what's the overpressure, what's the end feel like, and come back off. And then for internal rotation, I'm going to do is I'm going to come onto the side, and you're not going to see me. So as I come off to the side, I could do it this way, but I want to be able to do the scapula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the scapula down, the head of the humerus down, that's one choice. The other choice, I can grab onto the chromium from this position, and I can do internal rotation this way, get to his end feel. Okay. And then we can add, lastly, I just would go into a horizontal adduction to see when it starts to move. Can he get? Can his elbow get past at least past his nose as he goes past it? And what's the end feel like? If I let it all go, it'll all go. But if I want to stabilize, I want to see what he can do in that position. Okay. And it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.